Hey, this is um my my vegan rat tail soup recipe. Rat tail soup is a delicious delicacy and a forgotten art form. And I just wanted to provide my vegan followers with a way to emulate this dish. The first thing you're gonna want to do is melt some uh, margarine. I couldn't afford any vegan margarine, so um, please just use vegan margarine if you are a vegan. The fat from the margarine will emulate the oily substance that rat tails often produce. Next step, you add three cups of water. Um, I, I, a lot of people, a problem a lot of people have with vegan rat tail soup is they uh, say it doesn't taste very good. Bring to a high heat, and while it's doing that, let's prep our faux rat tails. For our rat tail substitute, we are going to use beets. This is for two reasons. The first being the red in the beets will reproduce the blood color you often see in traditional rat tail soup. The other being that they um, look like rat tails. And throw away the excess beets once you have your tails secured. Fun fact, in medieval Europe, this dish was a uh, commonplace amongst the impoverished peasant folk up until um until uh, the the plague ruined that. And now is the fun part. After you add your beet tails, you get to pour out the salt. About three cups is the standard. Personally, I add a little more because I just think salt is a, a whole lot of fun. Sometimes I feel I can't control my thoughts. Now, let's get those flavors to develop for about three hours, adding salt and water as needed. Don't feel obligated to stir it, as that's just, um, the spoon will be another dish you'll have to clean. After you have that beautiful creamy blood consistency, you can go ahead and add your garnish. In this video, I used, um, some onion, and a beet stock from earlier. And that is how you make a delicious vegan alternative to the European classic rat tail soup. Feel free to share this to your friends you still do have and share what you think in the in the